All right, good morning everybody. Uh, free hand camera work right away this morning. But if you've looked earlier, I don't know, a year ago, I got this little electric motor and put a kind of hacked pulley on it to make a generator out of it uh, and just sort of quit working on it. But uh, I'm going to try and do that now so I can test power on these engines. So what I have is a just strip of wood with a little uh, drilled out half moon shape in it to clamp that in place once I got it lined up with the uh, engine here and I got the ET1 belted up uh, the belt is just a piece of ribbon uh, for decorative purposes and I've done this before on small scale model steam engines, toy steam engines uh, and it actually works out pretty good. Um, I've got this lined up. Um, I have a half twist in my belt, if I can get that in view there. And so we're going to just set on to the... Oh. And I thought I had checked the view from the there. So I'm going to start up the ET1 and see if it spins this little uh, permanent motor, uh, permanent magnet motor. Uh, I've got spark checked. Um, okay. Left the needle where it was. Actually, need to prime it there a teeny bit because there was some air in the line. And It's good that the belt's not popping off while I turn it, crank it here. Uh, hmm. Did I get the plug wet when I tried to get the air out of the line? So it did have a big air bubble in it, and I didn't want to deal with spinning to get that out, but I may have gotten the plug wet while I was doing that. Oh yeah, plug's soaking wet. Fun. Getting the air out of the line is always a pain when you're just spinning it, but also sometimes when you try to pull it out, pull the bubbles out by hand, you get there. Let's see if it... Okay. Might get might be getting close to drying out. There we go. Alright, let's see now.
looking at my uh, AirSats generator here. Reclamp that real quick before we. one is running and you can hear that buzzing from the uh, electric motor generator um, I'm not certain I'm getting a lot of good nope. and all my clamps have come loose securely. Definitely, as we work on this, we're going to have to come up with a better Yeah, definitely going to have to come up with a better clamping arrangement for the engines uh, as we do this to keep them in place, but all right.
those clamps are tight on the ET1. Uh, we can hear the E or the generator thing buzzing, that motor. So I'm going to check it for voltage, and then once I've got you know a proven principle, uh, we'll have to figure out a way to mount that generator and turn it into a load to test the power on these. There, we're getting about four volts uh, just with this setup. Oh, and it conked off again. Uh, well, let's see. I'm just. Must be warming up. <sighs> yep, warmed up and quick, but. We'll have to take a look at that uh, motor that I'm turning into a generator, and also I gotta find a different way to join up this uh, ribbon that I'm using for belting, because you can see the spot where I've stitched it up right now is definitely pulling apart, and uh, the whole thing is getting wrinkly. Um, so. Clearly, for this operation, I'm going to need to find a, uh, yeah, for this operation that isn't quite strong enough on its own. Um, I had some thicker uh, ribbon that I used for the first belt I made, where I belted the ET1 and the ETX together, and uh, I don't have any of that left, uh, but I might be able to make that fit on the pulley for the generator here so uh, we'll have to see um, I also don't think that the generator quite has a big enough pulley to give it the surface area for good drive it's probably slipping a lot so uh, when I put it under load I'm gonna have to make sure that it's got a good pulley surface so that we're getting most of the power out of the engine and into the generator set for load testing so there's a couple things to try out uh, and work out, but I'm sure that I will get those figured out and try to build this up for a generator test outfit. Um, but right now, I guess we'll uh, shut off the ET1 and I'm going to go take a look at some of that stuff and see what to do next.